How to Rewire Your Negative Thinking with Dating and Women. Leave a like on the video my love and if you are new to the channel subscribe to receive new advice, do this to help the channel continue to grow, leaving a like is all I ask as a gift. Hey there, it's Pamela Raquel. In the journey of dating and relationships, it's easy to get caught up in a cycle of negative thinking, especially after a few rough experiences. But what if I told you that changing your mindset could dramatically change your dating life? Today, we're going to tackle exactly that, how to rewire your negative thinking when it comes to dating and women. It's not just about putting on a happy face, it's about fundamentally transforming the way that you perceive yourself, potential partners, and the process itself. In this video, we will introduce practical strategies and positive psychology techniques designed to shift your mindset from doubt to confidence, from fear to openness. Ready to transform your dating experiences and open the door to more meaningful connections? Let's get started on this journey together. Identifying Negative Thought Patterns The first step in transforming how you think about dating and women is to recognize and identify the negative thought patterns that hold you back. These patterns, often rooted in past experiences or societal messages, can significantly impact your confidence and approach to relationships. Common negative thinking styles include catastrophizing, expecting the worst outcome, overgeneralizing, believing a single event applies to all future situations, and mind reading, assuming you know what women are thinking without evidence. To begin the process of rewiring your thoughts, it's crucial to become aware of these patterns. Pay attention to moments when you are quick to assume rejection, feel unworthy of attention, or believe that all interactions are bound to fail. These are indicators of underlying negative thought patterns. Identifying these patterns requires mindfulness and honesty with yourself. It involves pausing to reflect on your thoughts, questioning their validity, and recognizing that they are not facts but perceptions shaped by your past experiences. By becoming aware of these negative thought patterns, you lay the foundational step towards challenging and changing them, opening up a new perspective on dating and women that is based on positivity and self-belief. Fostering Self-Compassion a vital aspect of rewiring negative thinking in dating and interactions with women is fostering self-compassion. This means learning to treat yourself with the same kindness, understanding, and patience that you would offer a good friend. The dating process can be fraught with rejection, misunderstandings, and setbacks. It's during these times that self-compassion becomes crucial. Self-compassion involves acknowledging your feelings without judgment, understanding that experiences of doubt and rejection are universal and not indicative of personal failure. It's about recognizing that one's worth is not tied to dating successes or failures. Practicing self-compassion allows you to navigate the ups and downs of dating with a grounded sense of self-worth and resilience. To foster self-compassion, start by noticing when you are being self-critical and actively counter those thoughts with kindness. Remind yourself that everyone faces challenges in dating, and it's okay to be imperfect. Engage in self-care practices that reinforce your value and well-being outside of your dating life. This can include pursuing hobbies, spending time with loved ones, or simply allowing yourself moments of rest and reflection. By cultivating self-compassion, you create a supportive internal environment that enhances your confidence and openness in dating, making you more resilient against the inevitable challenges that arise. Mindfulness in Dating Incorporating mindfulness into dating can significantly alter your approach and experience, helping you to stay present and reduce anxiety in social and dating situations. Mindfulness is the practice of being fully engaged in the present moment without overthinking past encounters or worrying about future possibilities. It allows you to truly connect with your date or partner, appreciating the experience for what it is, free from constraints of negative thinking. To practice mindfulness in dating, focus on grounding yourself in the here and now during social interactions. Pay attention to your senses, what you see, hear, and feel, rather than getting lost in a whirlwind of anxious thoughts about what might go wrong or right. This presence can help ease the pressure and anxiety often associated with dating, allowing for more authentic and enjoyable connections. Additionally, mindfulness helps in recognizing and accepting your feelings without judgment. If you are feeling nervous, acknowledge it as a normal reaction rather than a sign of inadequacy. By accepting your emotions, you can approach dating situations with a calmer, more balanced perspective. Practicing mindfulness also involves letting go of harsh self-criticism and unrealistic expectations. It encourages a kinder, more compassionate attitude towards yourself, fostering a sense of confidence and well-being that is inherently attractive. Reframing Rejection Reframing rejection is a powerful method for transforming your dating mindset. 
instead of viewing rejection as a personal failure or a reflection of your worth, shift your perspective to see it as an essential step towards finding the right match. This change in viewpoint is crucial for maintaining a positive outlook and resilience in the face of dating challenges. Rejection, in its essence, is not a judgment of your character or desirability but rather an indication of incompatibility. It's a natural part of the dating process where both parties are assessing their fit with each other. By reframing rejection as a filtering process, you can appreciate it as a means of guiding you away from mismatch connections and closer to someone with whom you share mutual interest and compatibility. To adopt this mindset, start by acknowledging the feelings that come with rejection. Then consciously choose to view it as an opportunity for growth and learning. Ask yourself what insights can be gleaned from the experience and how it can inform your approach moving forward. Embracing rejection as a positive force can liberate you from the fear of being turned down, encouraging you to take chances and open yourself to new possibilities. This approach not only improves your resilience but also enhances your attractiveness by fostering an attitude of confidence and optimism. Affirmations for Confidence Affirmations are powerful tools for reinforcing self-esteem and fostering positive thinking, particularly in the context of dating and relationships. By creating and regularly using affirmations, you can shift your internal dialogue from one of doubt and negativity to one of confidence and optimism. These affirmations are positive present tense statements that directly counteract negative beliefs and reinforce your sense of self-worth and capability. To effectively use affirmations for confidence in dating, start by identifying areas where you seek improvement or where negative thoughts frequently arise. Craft affirmations that address these specific concerns, focusing on the positive outcomes you wish to manifest. For example, if you often feel insecure about your desirability, an affirmation might be, I'm worthy of love and attraction just as I am. Incorporate these affirmations into your daily routine, repeating them to yourself each morning, during moments of doubt, or before social interactions. The repetition is key to embedding these positive beliefs into your subconscious, gradually transforming your mindset. Affirmations work by breaking the cycle of negative self-talk and replacing it with empowering thoughts that boost your confidence and outlook on dating. This practice can help you approach dating with a stronger, more positive self-image, enhancing your attractiveness and readiness for healthy relationships. Celebrating Small Victories In the journey toward rewiring negative thinking in dating and interactions with women, recognizing and celebrating small victories is crucial. This practice fosters a sense of progress and momentum, encouraging you to continue making efforts towards positive changes. Small victories can range from successfully initiating a conversation with someone you're interested in to simply going through a social event without succumbing to negative self-talk. Celebrating these moments involves acknowledging your efforts and growth, no matter how minor they may seem. It's about shifting focus from what's lacking to what's being achieved, reinforcing the positive steps you're taking. This shift in perspective is essential for building self-esteem and confidence, as it highlights your capability and resilience. To effectively celebrate small victories, set aside time to reflect on your progress regularly. Recognize specific instances where you managed to overcome a negative thought or took a brave step in your dating life. Share these accomplishments with friends or loved ones who support your journey or keep a personal journal to document these moments. Embracing and celebrating each success, no matter the size, cultivates a positive mindset that is attractive and conducive to healthy relationships. It reminds you that progress, not perfection, is the goal, and every step forward is worth acknowledgement. Cultivating a growth mindset Cultivating a growth mindset is about embracing growth and learning opportunities in every dating experience, whether successful or not. This perspective views challenges and setbacks not as failure but as valuable lessons that contribute to personal development. Adopting a growth mindset in dating means recognizing that each interaction, each connection, and each ending is a chance to learn more about yourself, what you desire in a partner, and how to be a better partner in future relationships. Embracing this mindset encourages resilience and perseverance, qualities that are essential in navigating the complexities of dating and relationships. It shifts the focus from seeking immediate success or validation to valuing personal growth and self-improvement. This approach fosters a more positive and open attitude toward dating, reducing the fear of rejection or failure because each is seen as an opportunity to evolve. To cultivate a growth mindset, actively reflect on your dating experiences, asking yourself what you learned from each situation and how it can inform your future choices. Celebrate the effort and courage it takes to put yourself out there, regardless of the outcome. 
Adopting a growth mindset enhances your attractiveness by demonstrating that you are someone committed to personal development and capable of handling life's ups and downs with grace and optimism. If you've made it this far, my love, comment below with the word 100% or something else to let me know, to confirm that you've received the knowledge from the video so far. For more interesting topics, subscribe to the channel, leave a like on the video and share it later. Let's continue. 17 Reverse Psychology Lies Girls Use When Pretending Not To Like You, Don't Fall For These Hey there, it's Pamela Raquel. Ever been thrown off by a woman claiming she's, just not that into you, yet her actions hint otherwise? Well, today we are delving into the intricate dance of reverse psychology. We'll expose the little lies that girls might tell when they are masking their feelings due to uncertainties or insecurities. By the end of this video, you will be adept at reading between the lines, helping you understand her real feelings. So, ready to become the expert at decoding her hidden messages? Let's unveil the secrets. You deserve someone much better than me, the classic self-deprecation card. Now, when a woman says this, you might be tempted to think she's genuinely pushing you away. But is she? More often than not, she's actually hoping you will argue the opposite. Now think about it like this. Imagine you've been presented with a delicious cake, but you say, oh, I shouldn't, it's probably too sweet for me. Deep down, you're hoping someone might say, just give it a try, it's perfect. She's placing her feelings on a platter, waiting for your assurance. Let's consider why she might say this, maybe she's unsure about how you view her or worried she might not be good enough. Your job. Provide her that sweet assurance. Let her know that in your eyes, she is more than enough. I bet you are popular with all the girls, a hint of jealousy mixed with fishing for affirmation. Remember the childhood teasing we engaged in when we had a crush? It's kind of like that, but the adult version. Saying this is like pointing out a bouquet and saying, I bet all those flowers smell good, secretly hoping you'd reply, but this one's my favorite. In this situation, she's probably seeking validation. She might be feeling like just another face in the crowd and is looking for you to say, hey, you stand out to me. So, guys, if she is the one that you truly are interested in, don't be shy. Let her know that she's special. It'll work wonders, trust me. I'm sure you wouldn't be interested in a date with me, a transparent invite disguised as doubt. It's akin to saying, there's no way that you would want this last slice of pizza, right, while secretly hoping you would jump in and say, actually, I would. By voicing this as a negative, she's providing you an open avenue to express interest without the risk of being the first to broach the topic. Furthermore, consider this, her saying this might stem from past rejections or fear of vulnerability. It's a protective shield, and you, being the knight in shining armor, can ease those fears with honesty. If you are genuinely interested, declare it. A simple affirmation can bridge the gap between doubt and certainty. You wouldn't want to hang out with me outside of here, imagine being at a party and loving the vibe but fearing the moment it ends. That's the emotion right here. She enjoys your company but might be worried it's confined to the current setting. It's like when you're enjoying a great movie and hope for a sequel, you just don't want the fun to end. Remember, guys, such statements are rarely about the words spoken, instead, they are about the words hoped for in response. She's dropping a hint, aiming for you to express your continued interest. I'm probably the last person you would think of asking out, picture this, standing in a vast buffet, she points at the most tantalizing dish, herself, and says, you probably wouldn't want that, would you? It's a nudge, a wink, a gentle push for you to express your true feelings, much like a mystery novel where the answer is hinted at, but she's waiting for you to piece it together. Now, why might she say this? She might be battling self-doubt or fear of coming on too strong. She's gauging your interest. Now, if you truly are interested, what's stopping you? Dive in. Be the detective that solves the mystery and make your intentions known. I must get bored talking to someone like me, imagine being engrossed in a fantastic book yet worrying that others might find it dull. That's her right now. She values your conversations but with a nagging doubt, asks, is it mutual? It's as if she's fishing in the pond of validation, hoping you throw in a golden fish of affirmation. In situations like this, transparency is key. If you genuinely enjoy your deep discussions with her, make it clear. Remind her that every chapter of her story is captivating to you. Show genuine interest, it's as refreshing as a cool breeze on a hot day. Don't you have better things to do than hang out with me? 
It's the equivalent of hiding a golden ticket and saying, you probably don't want this, right? Deep down, she's hoping you would consider your time with her as golden. She might be feeling like a back burner plan and is certainly nudging you to place her front and center. Now, if she genuinely does light up your world and isn't just another agenda item, it's time to step up, reassure her. Tell her there's no place you'd rather be because sometimes it's that reaffirmation that solidifies the bond between two people. You probably didn't even notice I changed my hairstyle, a classic. You see, for many, changing one's hairstyle is a big deal, a mix of personal expression and a dash of desire for appreciation. It's like an artist painting a masterpiece and subtly pointing it out, hoping for applause. She's not just fishing for compliments, she's longing for your attention to detail. Being observant is the key here. If she means something to you, noticing these small changes will make her feel cherished. Remember, it's not about the hair but the sentiment attached to it. Recognizing and appreciating her efforts will surely elevate your connection. I'm sure you wouldn't remember the first time you met, think of this as her holding a cherished photo from the past, wondering if you value it as much as she does. It's the equivalent of holding up a picture and softly stating, you probably don't recall this moment. Your memories together, especially that first meeting, hold a special place in her heart. It's like bookmarking the first page of an engaging novel. The underlying sentiment? A combination of hope and vulnerability. She treasures that day and wonders if it means as much to you. And if it does, let her know. A shared cherished memory can lay the foundations for countless more. I'd understand if you don't want to be seen with me, here's an analogy for you. Imagine a beautiful bird, radiant in its colors but hesitant to fly in the open, fearing it won't match the splendor of the sky. She might be feeling self-conscious, wondering if you're comfortable being with her openly. Guys, if you genuinely value her company irrespective of the setting, now's the time to vocalize it. Let her know she's not just an indoor secret but someone you would proudly be with anywhere. Your affirmation can give her the confidence to soar alongside you, unbridled and free. Most guys would probably pick her over me, this one's like a scene from a movie, but the main character wonders if they are overshadowed by the glamorous supporting role. Beneath this statement lies a quest for assurance, does she stand out to you amid the crowd? It's essential here to be sincere. If your heart does choose her, articulate it. Let her know that while the world might see a multitude, your focus is laser sharp on her alone. Because sometimes, a genuine affirmation can eclipse all lingering doubts. Why would someone like you be interested in my hobbies? Imagine an artist unsure of their artwork, exhibiting it hesitantly, wondering if it holds any appeal. She might be questioning whether her passions align with yours or if they hold any significance in your eyes. In situations like these, it's not just about saying you appreciate her hobbies, dive deeper. Engage in them, show genuine curiosity. It's one thing to say her painting looks good, and another to sit beside her, watch her paint, and express how her process fascinates you. Engage, immerse, and show her that her world is worth being a part of. I'm probably not your type, picture this, someone handing you a unique gift, perhaps an old vinyl record, and saying, this might not be your genre. What she's doing here is self-reflecting and pondering her place in your world. It's like holding up a mirror and hoping that you too see her reflection as compatible with yours. In response, if she genuinely resonates with your vibes, let her know. Assure her that types are fluid and what matters most is the tune both of you create together. If your hearts dance to the same rhythm, there's no reason for any genre to be a barrier. You are out of my league, imagine a small fish in a vast ocean, looking up at a seemingly unreachable coral castle and thinking, is that place for me? By suggesting a disparity, she's throwing out a line, hoping to reel in an affirmation about how you perceive the connection between you two. The play here. Break down the leagues, remind her that connections are not about tears but about shared experiences and emotions. If she makes your heart race like a sports car on an open highway, let her in on that secret. You don't have to reply to my messages if you don't want to, now, this one's akin to someone leaving the door ajar, hinting you can walk out if you feel trapped. She's given you an out but silently wishing you would opt in to stay and chat. It's her way of ensuring she's not overwhelming you while also checking if you value the conversation as much as she does. The cue. Keep the dialogue open. If her messages paint colors on the canvas of your day, share that vibrant picture with her. After all, genuine conversations are the backbone of a beautiful relationship, aren't they? Don't waste your time on me, visualize this, a hidden gem in a bustling marketplace, 
whispering, maybe there are brighter jewels out there for you. By downplaying her worth, she's seeking affirmation that she's valuable in your eyes. What's the next move on your chessboard? If spending time with her feels like discovering the layers of a rich novel, voice it out. Assure her that every moment with her is a page worth reading, and you are here for the entire story. Would you even care about my opinion? Picture an artist questioning if her strokes and shades matter in the grand canvas of art. She's trying to gauge if her voice, thoughts, and opinions hold weight in your world. Your play here. If her opinions add depth and perspective to your worldview, then share that with her. It's like telling an artist that her unique brushstrokes add an irreplaceable essence to the masterpiece. Everyone wants to feel heard and valued, and sometimes, a simple acknowledgement can bridge worlds. Now that you are a pro at spotting these subtle deceptions, are you curious about what catches her eye first? Or perhaps you would love to learn the tiny gestures that make her melt? Pick your path now. Love the video? Don't forget to like, comment, and hit that subscribe button. If you've made it this far, my love, comment below with the word, 100%, or something else to let me know, to confirm that you've received the knowledge from the video so far. For more interesting topics, subscribe to the channel, leave a like on the video and share it later. Let's continue. How to attract a younger woman, age gap relationships, older men and younger women dating. Hey there, it's Pamela Raquel. Ever wanted to attract younger women as an older man? Well, today we're diving into the heart of the matter. We're going to break down the ways older men can genuinely connect with and attract younger women. It's not about pretending or acting youthful but understanding the genuine appeal you bring to the table. By the end of this video, you will have the insights to confidently engage with younger women and understand the foundation of lasting connections in age gap relationships. Ready to discover the key? Let's unfold the story together. Tip number one, be yourself. Authenticity, my friends, is key. There's nothing more attractive than a man who is comfortable in his own skin. Embrace who you are, your age, your experiences, your maturity. These are not drawbacks, they are your strengths. Show her that you are content with who you are but that you are also open to new experiences and learning. The self-assurance that comes with age is a magnet, and the right person will value you for it. Show genuine interest in her life. Remember, age is not the only difference here. Her interests, her lifestyle, and her perspective might be different from yours, but that's what makes getting to know her so interesting. Ask about her hobbies, her dreams, and her everyday life. Show curiosity, but remember it should be genuine. No one likes feeling like they are being interviewed. Make it a two-way conversation, share about your life too. It's all about building a connection. Stay updated and relevant. Now, this doesn't mean you need to completely change who you are or pretend to be someone you're not. Rather, it's about bridging the generational gap by keeping up with the world around you. Understand the current trends, listen to the latest music, and be familiar with the newest tech gadgets. Immerse yourself in her world without losing your own identity. This will allow you to engage in stimulating conversations and shared experiences. What's more, it shows her that you are open-minded and adaptable. Respect her autonomy. Just because you have more life experience doesn't mean you have the right to control her life. It's crucial to recognize and acknowledge her autonomy. Respect her choices, her decisions, and her ability to navigate her own life. Remember, the last thing she wants is another parental figure. Instead of lecturing, share your wisdom and experiences in a non-condescending manner. Discuss and decide things together. It's about mutual respect and understanding. Offer stability. Stability here doesn't necessarily equate to financial security, although it is certainly part of it. Emotional stability, however, is the key element that shouldn't be overlooked. Show her that you are a man who's reliable, consistent, and grounded. Someone who's not easily swayed by the whims and fancies of life. This sense of stability and security that comes with maturity is often what younger women find attractive in older men. Show her that you are that port in a storm, a calm reassuring presence that she can always count on. Moreover, let her know that you are not just there for the good times but also for the challenging times. This level of stability can provide a sense of security that's incredibly attractive. Communicate openly. This is something that's essential in any relationship, irrespective of age differences. Ensure that you express your thoughts and feelings openly and encourage her to do the same. 
Be clear about your intentions and expectations right from the start, whether you are looking for a casual fling or a serious long-term relationship. Also, it's crucial that you listen and respect her desires and expectations. Open communication builds trust, eliminates misunderstandings, and allows the relationship to develop naturally. Plus, it shows her that you respect her enough to be honest and open and that you value her enough to listen to her. So speak up but also listen, it's a two-way street and can make your journey together much smoother and more enjoyable. Dress well. No, you don't need to dress like a 20-something to attract a younger woman. You just need to show that you take care of yourself and that you have your own sense of style. It shows self-respect and confidence. Show your emotional maturity. This is something that comes with age and it's a definitive plus. Being able to handle conflict, showing empathy, and taking responsibility for your actions are signs of emotional maturity that can be very attractive. Be patient. Remember, Rome was not built in a day and neither are relationships, especially ones that have a significant age difference. Just like a sapling needs time to grow into a strong tree, relationships need time to develop and mature. Being patient also implies respecting her pace and comfort. Remember, it's not about the end destination, it's about the journey. Keep your life balanced. It's quite easy to lose yourself when trying to attract someone, especially when they belong to a different age group. But the key is to maintain a healthy balance. Keep doing the things you love, the things that make you who you are. But at the same time, don't forget to make time for her. Show her that she's an important part of your life but not the only one. Be adventurous. Who said adventure had an age limit? Absolutely no one. The thirst for adventure should never die and expressing this side of you can be quite appealing to a younger woman. This doesn't necessarily mean you have to go bungee jumping or scuba diving, although if you're up for it, why not? Being adventurous can be as simple as trying a new cuisine, exploring a new city, or picking up a new hobby. It's all about stepping out of your comfort zone and experiencing life beyond conventional boundaries. This shows her that you're not just an older guy but a man who's fun, exciting, and open to new experiences. Be a good listener. It might sound simple but it's often overlooked and trust me, it's one of the most attractive qualities one can have. When you listen, you tell the other person that you value what they say, that their opinions matter. For a younger woman, this is particularly important. She might be used to being dismissed because of her age so having someone who genuinely listens to her can be a refreshing change. Show kindness. Gentlemen, kindness is timeless. It never goes out of style. But kindness isn't just about being nice to her, it's about being kind to everyone. The waiter at the restaurant, the guard at the door, the old lady crossing the street. Because kindness speaks volumes about who you are as a person and trust me, she will notice. It's these little things that can make a huge difference. Keep up your physical health. Now, this doesn't mean you have to have the body of a fitness model. It simply means taking care of your body because a healthy body often signifies a healthy mind. It could be as simple as taking a walk every day, hitting the gym a few times a week, or even doing yoga at home. Eating healthy is also a part of it. So show her that you care about your health and well-being. This not only makes you look good but also tells her that you plan to stick around for a while. So, you've learned the secret to attraction across age gaps. Now delve deeper to see how a younger woman reveals her interest through body language or the clear indicators she's making the first move. Which will you uncover first? If you found this valuable, please hit like, drop a comment, and subscribe for more insights.